International NGO What Rage is calling on the government to commit more to fighting climate change. This call coincides with International Water Week observed around the globe. There is little to celebrate as water is becoming more and more scarce, especially for poor communities. Here is Telesur correspondent Matuba Malatije with more. Access to clean water can be another way of measuring inequality. The struggle for access to clean water for poor communities has been intensifying globally. And when natural disasters strike, faces of poor stranded people dominate the headlines. International organization Water Aid says climate change is the main culprit. Crops are damaged. There are droughts also, of course, Eloise is flooding and so on. So the flooding then affects crops, it affects infrastructure, it affects people's access to water supply. Remember that um, not everyone has water, running water in their taps, so they need to walk certain distances for them to be able to access that water. With the stubborn coronavirus among us, water will be key to the survival of humanity. While governments urge citizens to change their behavior to stay healthy, it appears governments will also have to do a lot of adjusting, especially where finances are concerned. Our clarion call is that they've got to be better commitments to funding. We want to see dedicated ministries in governments that are looking at water and sanitation and good hygiene. One of the key things we're saying during COVID-19 is that you've got to wash your hands for you to stay safe from infection. Uh, you've got to wash your hands with clean water for tw at least 20 seconds. Where is the water? Do all our communities have access to that water? There are people who have to walk long distances for them to go and draw water from a well, some from streams. If you look at the statistics, for instance, here in South Africa, it's one of the countries that's doing a lot better than others. At least 89% of people of households have access to running water. But when you look at statistics in other countries, the figures are much lower. Being able to open a tap like this and Getting clean, drinkable water is something we are warned that it won't last for long. That's if we don't change or improve our relationship with natural resources, especially water. For Telesur, I'm Matuba Mahlachi in Soshangove, South Africa.